therapist online. And I also would like to sell, but now I, I plan to sell over Etsy. Yeah. So that's sort of my background. Anna, are you? Hi, I am. I have an online course. Um, I don't know if it's exactly for like uh, what this talk is about, but I, I also just wanted to come meet the community a bit. Um, so if I have to drop off a bit soon because I have another uh, engagement, please don't mind me. Um, okay, don't no worry, Anna. Thank you very much. Then the ones I don't see, Victoria, you do listen to me? No, there are people, but they don't. Ezra, you listen to me? Okay, then I, it's Laura, your turn. Okay, so, so everyone present yourself. Just give me a second because I need to record. I'm recording already, that's great. But I need to apparently delete something from, <laughs> from my cloud, otherwise it won't be record. And it gives me an error. I love it when technology doesn't work. It's my field of technology. <laughs> <laughs> and doesn't, never mind. Okay. So, okay, I'm Laura Moreno. Um, I'm going to present myself in, in a minute. I'm going to, it's going to be very dynamic um, e commerce foundation presentation. So, I'm going to say we use an slice. And it's going to be, we're going to give you access to a workbook that you will have to, if you want to do exercise. And because for me, with an action, it's not transformation. With a transformation, it's uh, everything you learn, it will go to, to the back of your head. And after two days, you will forget. So it's quite important when you learn something, you do something about it. And that's how the human work. I'm going to set now, if I find the screen, here it is. And if you have any questions, I will um, recommend you, if you just um, type it on the chat. Mm -hmm. And um, where are my notes? And I will answer by the end of the presentation as we are going to have about 15 to 20, 10, to 15 minutes to answer. So, so welcome to this. And um, what you will learn today is the basic of e-commerce. I have a experience of 15 years. And one of the mistakes that all my customers has been doing over these past years is not planning well enough before launching something. Um, it's a stage of, of course, you can, um, launch in two weeks, in four weeks, in two months, or in two years. But sometimes you need to do a bit of work back before you are ready to, to launch. Otherwise you will crash. Um, crash is sometimes good because thanks to these fails or mistakes, that's how we learn. So in this uh, webinar, you will learn today a roadmap for selling products and service. So I will, this roadmap, it will be any for product, service, digital courses, or anything you can sell online, because more or less, there will be the same steps you need to do for anything you want to sell. What do you want to sell versus what it will sell? That is quite important, because sometimes we have an idea that we think it could work, and then it doesn't sell. <laughs> to who's selling? the other important step and products and service key info. And then we'll go to the Q&A time. So welcome again. So me and a multi-passionate um, entrepreneur, I have a background in photography, graphic design and web design. Um, I've been uh, helping uh, soap companies and entrepreneurs to open their online business since 50 years ago. Um, I ended in Barcelona three years ago with get out of Brexit in London after 17 years living in London and now I'm here to, I don't know for how long, until, we'll see, until the COVID allow me to stay here or will we move to somewhere else. And now I'm focusing on helping women to, helping women to grow their uh, business with the digital tools and technology. 
So roadmap for selling products and service. Why a roadmap is important? Um, human brain, it go a bit overwhelmed and confused if it doesn't know what is the end of the journey or what are the steps of. Um, for me, roadmap it work very well for any business or any company or any entrepreneur to have an overall vision, what are the steps they need to go to be able to learn to sell a product or service. Now, this is not writing in a stone and you don't need to really follow every single step, but this is give you a image, a graphic view, what do you need to do? And it give you steps like you need to go maybe before to be able to launch a successful product that you maybe thought anyway, or maybe you were considering and you have in back in your mind and in back in your mind and they were thinking, oh yeah, I didn't thought about that. Let me do it. So there are steps. Um, the first, just a good idea and product and service. Now, there are many ways to get an idea. Can we I'm going to mute all the, yeah, okay. Yeah. So maybe sometimes you have an idea and it's like, oh, that could be good to sell it. Oh, that could be an amazing um, to put it out there. And then one thing is an idea, one thing is a saleable idea. Um, idea could be a product as well. It could be a service, it could be your skills, it could be what you are good on, it could be your talents, it could be the more unique thing you are only able to do. Now, these three questions you need to answer about this idea, product or service. What, what do you want to sell? Who, who do you want to sell it to? And why, why you want to sell it? And why, as, as Sonia mentioned yesterday, the ones you were there before, yesterday, it, the why is quite important. Um, is actually the deep thing of every product, every service, and everything online is will be successful. You need to know to understand your why. People right now are more with this era of the COVID and more on this becoming more conscious, uh, more local. People are not really, they are less buying products just for buying or consuming just for consuming. They are consuming to get experience. They are consuming to get something. They are, they need to get something about it. Um, this deep why is people actually, they are not buying your product and service. They're buying, they're buying for your why, the buying for your, what you give you the value, what you give you the experience, what is the full benefit of what you are selling. So it's quite important to understand this why to get to the next step of what you are selling. So then we got to the pro prototype, interest and testing. This is quite critical to make a successful, uh, anything successful selling online, you need to test it. You need to use a physical product, do a prototype and test it. It is working, is people like it? Is uh, it is really lasts as long as I say, what are the benefits? Uh, how long people can use it? How long can last? If it's a service, is really give the benefit I'm selling that service for? Um, if it's a service, is people interested in the service I'm provided? Because sometimes you're thinking like, okay, I'm going to do a mini course uh, of WordPress, but there's so many courses of WordPress there. Are really people interested in to buy my course of WordPress? What is the difference between my course of WordPress to other WordPress courses out there? You know, you need to go there and talk to people to understand if what you offer is actually what they are interested in. If you, if you are new in business, then you need to offer things and test it. There are many ways like trials, um, beta, beta ways, free testing, doing surveys, be there, offer for free. And then um, if you are product or service, you, the same, you offer that product, physical product to test, to try, 
and you get the feedback. All that, anyway, this prototype and testing and testing, it will give you so benefit in the way that you know what it works, you know what doesn't work for your service product, and you get testimonials that are so crucial to make a successful um, online business you need social proof. I will, this, in the e workbook, everything is uh, disclosed at all these points. So then, after the prototype, interest and tested, if your idea was successful and they want it and they want to put it out, then we go to the optimized uh, launch. What is that? Well, this is just, okay, so all the feedback, I collect all the feedback, uh, I send a collecting, uh, it's good on data, I collect all the data, they give me all the testimonial, all the benefit, what it works, what doesn't work, and then I make a plan what, how long it will take me to optimize this product service to launch it. Then I get into the website, I get into the legal documents, that is so important. I get to um, a final benefit description image and all the email setup and payment gateways. So, there are this critical, this is the three critical steps that before you just go there and spend your money in e-commerce and spend your money in a website, spend your money in your brand, spend your money then. There are these critical steps you need to do before launch because that's these two critical product service, the idea and the prototype will tell you if your product service, it will work and then you can do your investment, even in funds, even in time, even in whatever you want to invest to make it out there. And then we have the pre-launch sales page. This is a um, marketing strategy, but I add it here because it gives you like, well, you have your launch plan and you optimize your product. You can do your pre-launch sales page, webinars, live, depends which product you have. You do a teasing, we call it, teasing your product, your service. You even, if you're selling service or you, you're selling a digital course, you even can pre-sell your course or pre-sell your service before you already complete the work you need to do to give it away. That gives you actually the time and the funding to actually be able to offer a better service. This is actually what is so now popular, crowdfunding. Crowdfunding are this. They, give, they told you the prototype, they told you the, um, the product they want to give you and you buy before anyone. And all the crowdfunding, the Kickstarter, Indiegogo, you buy before even is created in the factory because they need the fundings to create the product. And that's what sometimes is, is risky. I love crowdfunding and I love Indiegogo as I have many products, but it's, it's sometimes it's a gamble, okay? You don't have a 100% guarantee that will send you the product. <laughs> so you just trust. But of course, there are ways to trust and the way they do the marketing and the campaign, you could see that it's, it's worth or not. But this is all the way to, to kind of risk-free if you want to learn something there and you want to make it sellable. Like you do crowdfunding, you do Indiegogo, you pre-sell your tickets, you pre-sell your service, you pre-sell your uh, digital course. And then when you already sell that, you create the content. And then that's it. After you do pre-launch, you have pre-sales, you do webinars or live to actually present your service or your product or is a teasing is um one guy uh jeffrey walker is very famous of uh, a lunch formula uh is about teasing videos so three videos teasing and give you the teasing of the benefit of this service and product to get you to the final uh, sell page and it's a way like to give value to sell you the benefits, to tell you what this product will help you to, and then you go to just to sell it. But um, 
In the roadmap, in the workbook, it's other two steps that's quite important is the after customer. Um, they are pointed out there in the workbook, but this is going to be so much on the third webinar that that's actually the key of all these three webinars. That's why, how make a successful e-commerce. So just to give you a few samples of unthinkable product to sell. This is Faceless, this is uh, Phyllis Cohen. This is my first ever e-commerce website I did what, back in 2011. Um, this is a makeup artist, a very famous in UK and America makeup artist that he is, uh, he is really on the body painting. And super uh, skilled body painting and making these intrinsic great designs on body of makeup. Um, funny enough, she was so successful in her makeup career, but a lot of makeup artists, they were asking her how they could replicate what she was doing in the body and the faces of many fashion, uh, many fashion models. Um, she came with the idea of to do this vinyl mask, silicone vinyl mask to put on the face with her designs. And she's been so successful that even Lady Gaga and X Factor, the boys, uh, Paloma Fate and all the many celebrities he's been wearing. Um, an idea that when she thought about it, a lot of makeup artists tell her life, no, this is not going to work. You know, no, no one will buy this. But this is one of the keys of testing product and she was testing and who doesn't want to have a makeup artist design in the face when they are very fashion about it. And you know, it's less time, less skills, and you don't need to pay a makeup artist to do it. You just need to buy a package of this vinyl and put it on the face and done. So she is now like all over selling in, uh, in stores and everything. There is one of the other samples that a product that you cannot even think in, or maybe from your skills, like a makeup artist selling something related to her skills, but a product, physical product. Other thing is, uh, Little Readers is something that we launched recently, is um, uh, English book subscription, that there are many, but they are here in Spain only, and for the international community. There are many Spanish book um, subscriptions monthly, but not really on the English base. I'm teaching English and go to the point of um, a stream of we just not give you the delivery, one of the latest, more independent English books for kids, but we are going to tell you how to read this book to your kids. You, you la your English is your first language, which words are best, uh, how to use it and even have activity together to enjoy the book and the time to read it. So this is a few samples that even something that you're not considering could give you idea what you could sell from your skills, your talents, your knowledge, and also for other products that you didn't consider and you tested the market. These two, pers these two people as well, they've been testing the market before. They've been trying and um, it becoming not overnight, but they've been doing like prototypes and they were like checking and doing trials before go the final product. So what do you want to sell? This is a good question. Actually, it's not what you want to sell. It's what your ideal clients want. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes we got to the point of, um, I want to sell this because I thought it could be a good idea, but you need to go to the point what your ideal client wants. And as we were talking before of um, ideal client and experience and product experience, you need to understand who is your ideal client, who is the person is going to buy your product. Um, sometimes you need to understand it to really deep down 
Your company, business, and products and service are not about you. They are about your ideal client. And that's how you're going to get a connection, talk the same language, and create the experience they want to get from your product or service. Now, who is this person? For me, years back, uh, when I was in London, I, I studied photojournalism, and then I ended by accident doing web design. And I love it, I love it, the computers, the technology since, since I was 11, and becoming in this interest, I was like, oh yeah, I want to do websites for everyone. I want to, I was taking this job, I was taking that job, I was working as a, as a freelancer in digital companies. I ended to want to do all, to do nothing. And that's when, uh, four years ago, it hit me um, doing some business development. Like, if you are talking to everyone, you're talking to no one. You need to talk. You need to understand to who you are talking. You cannot please anyone. You need to find out who is your ideal client. Of course, it's not like we have one client. But that ideal client avatar, I call it, it will give, give you the premises, the starting point, the foundation for your company to start, to get connection, and then open the door to the right person you want to work with. For me, it was critical because I'm working uh, only mostly for women. So I know for my ideal client avatar, for my core values as uh, my entrepreneur company, and for my personal values, I know to who I don't want to work with. And I say no to clients or to jobs, they are no my values, they are no on my ideal client, because I don't want to work with. Sometimes it's painful to say no, but I know if I say yes, I will regret, because it will be a pain client, and I will be, made me frustrated, it made me anxious, it made me just waiting for wasting my time. So it's good to know to who you want to sell. So the ideal client avatar, and I have a full worksheet on the workbook, you need to know your age, you need to know your name, the name, and the name is you, uh, I normally I make up, or oh, I have a past client name, gender, marital status, children, because that will depend if they want to buy your product and service, location, annual income, occupation, core life belief. If their their life, their values and core life belief are aligned to yours, they will buy for you because there will be this connection. Favorite book, magazine, music, TV, blog, social media accounts, and see he follows. Why? Because you need to understand what this person is not any longer, as Sonia well say so well yesterday, it's not any longer you open your lines up and people will come to knock to you. It doesn't work that like, like that any longer. This is not working like that since probably now five, 10 years ago. It's not even in, in local shop. You open the door and people walk by. No, you need to go to find your customers. You need to go to find the people who will buy the product by really hard chance, people will go to your website to find your product. Um, Evans conference, he go, he go the same. You need to know where they go, where they, they're reading to go to there. What does see he do on her, his free time? And then two the key questions of the ideal uh, client avatar is fears and pains and dreams, aspirations and goals. Now, every single product service out there, it go to relieve and to solve a pain, a problem. Every single one, even shoes. Imagine walking on, on the street with bare feet. They're painful, your feet, after five minutes. So this source is relief, your foot pain. <laughs> so every single product, if we, think it, if we think it deeply, it will resolve a pain and a problem. 
So you need to understand your idea client fears and pains to help them to resolve that. That's how you understand sometimes um, what are the benefits of your product because you touch that pain points. Um, funny thing, humans are way wired to avoid pain. So you tell uh, someone that you will lose 50 euros to um, miss this webinar instead of gain 50 euros, they will remain the 50 euros they will lose if they physically lose it because it's more painful than the gain. So, and that's how the products, you need to touch the pain of what you are resolving. Are you time resolving? Are you money resolving? Are you process support resolving? You know, like all every, there are four categories of pain, financial pain points, productivity time points, process pain points, like I, my process going to give me the goals I want and support pain points of the support of the journey, what I'm doing, if it's right, is wrong. So you need to understand this for your dear client to be able to tune the experience, your service, to resolve that. Because every, and I go back to, to this, like every single product, service, it will resolve a pain. And the dreams aspiration, well, this is kind of like, if you understand what they want to get in life, they want to get more time with the family, help them with the productivity. They want to, they look uh, more beautiful, um, feel more confident, okay, make a designer clothes for them. Even Apple, that it look is, uh, yeah, it help you, you know, it's a status. Apple, having an Apple or having a, is, it go to the deep of the dreams, aspiration, it's a status, what? of design, technology, equipment. And Shopify as well is, you know, Shopify and many stuff is like, Shopify one of these like, is no web skills, no design skills to open your e-commerce. Um, what else? Uh, Melting it helps you to make connections with, um, with uh, with customers, um, Amazon, the pain, the result of the pain of waiting, waiting to receive a product, Amazon Prime, you have a nice day, ready for you. So if we look in deeply, every single product service will resolve a pain. So find the pain that your product service is resolving. So Charuka, um, Everyone, maybe pro probably more from the Bar Barcelona area or in Spain, they're they not Charuca. Um, Charuca is all in experience of the customer. And I love it because it's just not selling you these beautiful uh, notebooks and beautiful dairies to feel that. It sells you papel therapy, therapy paper. And it tells you that it would really tell you like all the scenario therapy, it help you to feel better, to organize yourself better, to get the most creative part, and if you want to reach your goal. That's what they're selling you. They're selling you uh, a productivity, a life, a way to get your goals, way to get your dreams thin. And even they have a book calling, um, the boss of your life, la jefa de tu vida. So be your own boss. So it's, of course, they have amazing stuff, but even the boss and everything, it's like, I don't know, uh, I thought to have to prepare a boss, but I don't know what it got, because my kids took it and misplaced it. I have here a box. Everything they, they, they have, when you order something, they arrive in this cardboard, but everything is so well thought they give you the experience of, oh wow, I just know buying a notebook. I buy experience of how to really achieve my dreams, how to really get something creative and experience inspire me to get 
something out there and all this beauty. And even on the bottom here in Spanish, say, queremos que hagas realidad la vida que, que imaginas. We want you to make reality the life you imagine. That's their motto, you know. They're not telling you, we selling you notebooks and amazing fancy diaries. No, we want you, you make reality the life you dream, the, the life you imagine. So they're selling you experience. And everything on the website is aligned to the service they provide. Um, this is two websites of service as well. Tell you like what is uh, the pain on the headers that will tell you the pain problem. So Emmy Porterfield is uh, email digital course uh, marketer in, uh, in America. I teach business owners, educators and entrepreneurs to profitable action steps for building a high engagement in email list, creating online training courses and using online marketing strategy to sell with ease. What is selling? What is the pain point that profitable? That my mailing list is not profitable. So it's going to the pain point of my mailing list is not making me money. They are not engaged. Engage so engage mailing list is like my email list customers, they are not open my email. So what can I do? Engage mailing list. They are um, selling, sell with ease that I create in online courses or I want to create well online courses, but I don't know how. So it's telling you that it will give you marketing strategy to sell with ease. That, that's the pain, like you really want to sell you really want to make money. So it's give you this benefit and solve you this problem to sell with it, to sell with a problem. Heather Chavin, it's American as well, is five times savings strategy that will help you to feel lighter, more productive, and emotionally in control. Now, you lost control, you don't know what the F you're doing in your life. Here's Heather coming to rescue you with five times seven strategies, you know, even her image and everything. So here is resolving you few pain points. Less you are anxious, you are not productive, you don't know what you're doing with your life and you are not in control and you are emotional all over the place. Of course, it's not telling you you are all over the place, but telling you in different ways how this can help you to do that. And now we be coming to the product service key information. So we know the roadmap, we know our client, and we start to know the fears, um, the dreams, the um, goals they want to reach. So we get to start to tune our product service to reach them and what they want to know. So I want to know about a few things. Title. Many people here go confused and just give it a name, not calling Russell Kuski Lops, and then you don't know what you buy. And then it's like, okay, what is this? <laughs> for C is not good, and for your client too. <laughs> just give it a mindful and relevant that what you offer. And just, um, you, you need to understand people minds. We have um, two type of readers online. The one the scan is 80% of the people. So it won't read every single letter in the website and the ones that will read every single letter of the website. So many people just scan. So if you are ready with the title of your product service, tell them what it's about, you win three seconds. In a website, in anything online, you have less than five seconds to make an impress to someone. So don't play with them to make assumptions, to think what is this product about or what is this service about. Just tell them, plain as easy as possible. They will thank you. Image, we are visual animals and you know, it's so relevant to 
how a good image can sell. And this, I prime so much to, to my clients. If you don't have image and you want to make experience and you make a good product to sell, hire a photographer, please. Invest or learn to take a good pictures because this is a key information of your client, what they will get. And more these days online, I love to go to, to, to shop and raise about um, stationary stuff. Not for clothes, but stationary. So I love to go to, to see a product, to touch, to how it feel, how many pages it have, how it look like in real. But these days, I need proof like how much we rely online now. You don't have that luxury. I mean, you still have in, in Barcelona, but where I live, I don't have that luxury. So I need to buy online most of the time. Um, I will buy for product or service that I know what is inside. I know what they give me. And what they give me by the image, the details, and the good presentation. Because if you made the effort of good image and you give me the information I will need, then I will have more trust I'm more confident to buy from you. So image are really important. Description. Every product service must have at least 120 word test and must answer a series of questions that that, that's extra that, in case you need it, client that asks herself himself as soon as he or she sees the product. And what are the questions? For who this is this for? Is this is for me? And this is quite important. That's why we got to the point of before to know your ideal client. If you know your ideal client, you will know what your product service is for. Okay, for moms, for women, for tall men, for um, children, for kids, for babies. What is the market? Doesn't mean you closing the doors. Don't uh, misunderstand because. Actually, you point out who is this for. It will people will come from other background, from other that it won't really fully 100% your ideal client avatar, but it will be some core belief, it will be some other parts of that client avatar. But they will know if they buy, it's their own risk. Or they go to the seas, it's their own risk because you're pointing out for really who is this for. Where well, can be used. This is, uh, this is more for the physical product, but even for, um, for service. Uh, well, it's this important thing, um, me, I'm providing a lot of service is like many of my clients, I have a client actually yesterday, 10 o'clock, uh, send me a WhatsApp, can you do this PDF for me? Uh, 10 o'clock, mm, no. I need to send to a client, uh, okay, yeah. No, <laughs> you know, it's quite important to stay and more when you provide ser service is where your service can be used. You are not 24 hours, uh, seven, 365. Are you already a mom? Are you already have the children? That's it, you know, that, that's it. That's the, the only 24, seven, 365 I'm doing um, by choice, uh, but not for clients. And always I put a draw line. Like I have my working hours, and sorry, you contact me, I will maybe have the courtesy to back to you, but not to do the job, that's something else. And I stopped. I was naive from the beginning, of course everyone do. That's how you learn. And that's it, you, you, need, to, you need to draw the line because they will uh, consider you the 24 seven, and they will end it to call you one in the night. Can you fix my website? No. <laughs> so be clear for service and even for product, where they can be used, when, what is the policy of when they can be used? Um, when can you use it? And this is as well like, okay, if you buy my product, when, when you receive the product? That sounds like um, assuming, but don't assume, stay quite well when they will receive the product. It's one week, two weeks, three weeks, it will make a difference. Because if you don't mention, people will get pissed off after two weeks. It's like, what is my product? Or you buy a service 
And in the disclosure information, it's like, no, until you don't do a discovery call, you don't, we don't start your service journey. Stay quite well and clear when they can start to use the service and product. Um, why is this your service better than the competition? It's an exercise I mentioned in the workbook. It's called in Blue Ocean Strategy. Uh, Google it. Uh, uh, Blue Ocean is an amazing strategy to make a uh, difference yourself from your competitors. What you are different from your competitors, what you are good from your competitors. If you have a product or service that is really um, too much, a lot of market out there that is really, it's quite hard to, to find a space, do the, this exercise. It will help you to make a use different, what you can do better from your skills, your talents, for your ideas, from your innovation, for what you have to make better from the company competitors. And how is use it? Well, this is the same like sometimes like where or when. <laughs> For products, you make clear how to use it. Don't make assumptions of people will understand how to use it. <laughs> I go so funny uh, sometimes of physical products and people is like, Okay, now I don't know if you you remember I when I have twelve years um, not when I was twelve years uh, old, uh, I had this PC that you open the disk and you click the button and you open the disk space to make uh, to hold a CD, and I have pictures of people using to a uh, glass holder because they didn't know there was a CD entry, so they were open this plastic thing, they were coming out this plastic thing with a hole in the middle and people thought there was a glass holder. Not to put the CD for the laptop to read it. Well, not the laptop, the PC tower to read it. And it's like, don't assume they will know how to use it. As silly as it sounds, it, they won't know. Um, for the same for the service, for me as a web designer becoming like, oh yeah, my website is done. Yeah, call your hosting, you are my hosting, no. I'm your web designer. <laughs> I know your hosting. I know your domain company. I know your internet provider. You know, sometimes, oh, my internet is not, doesn't work. Yeah, and can you fix it? No. Oh, my printer doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so be clear um, and stay what you are and what you are not, when, how they use products and service. Who use it? And this is the social proof testimonial. We are um, um, social animals and we need social proof. How many of you, when you go to try a new restaurant, how many of you check the Google map reviews? No, Daniela, you don't check the uh, Google reviews or any reviews for new restaurant or products or got, if you buy in Amazon, you check how many reviews. I'm guilty of that. I will buy a product who have more reviews, you know, more they, good they, reviews. They can, they can be both. Reviews yeah. can be both, a lot, like a lot, a lot of scams come up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I will, if I have in Amazon, I have a product with no reviews and a product who have 30 good reviews, I will buy that one. If it's even two euros expensive, I don't care. I will buy that because it give me trust. It give me the social proof that people is happy with that product. It give me the peace of mind that product is good. So big, big really, that's why they so critical, the prototype testing, because you get the testimonial, you get the social proof for your service, be successful and be, for the product and service selling there. And then you have the price, the magic thing. Now, of course, if it's a physical product, put the price there. Don't even question that. If it's a service, I will recommend that too. That give you um, a filter. For me, is like a funnel. If I had the price there for my service and I have, um, I have like a booklet. When someone asks me for my service, I give the booklet. Okay, this is my service start 
price point. Um, this is a filter for me. If you are not able to pay that, I don't want to work with you. That's it. I mean, and this is a filter. And even for the, if you put it in your website for your service, it's like, imagine this case. You have 30 people landing in your website. Of that 30 people, 10 are willing to contact you to your service. Without knowing your price, they will call you these 10 people, but only two they could afford it. But you need to go through that 10 people to tell them your price by email, by phone, or whatever other kind of way you have to tell them what are your prices. To end in with only two people, they will sign for your prices service. But if you stay your price, transparency, honest in your website, you filter that 10, you don't spend the time to tell that 10 what is your price. And the two people will contact you if they're willing to go to, to that price without you wasting the time to tell them what is your price, the mail, the, the uh, phone calls or anything. Of course, this is a sales strategy as well with the calls, but if you have a starting point price, just be clear and put it there. And that's it. I'm going to stop to share. Um, no. Okay. And if you have any questions now, and next week we will talk about e-commerce platforms because you don't need, you can do this ways here. Have a use investment to do amazing, but you can start small if you want. This doesn't have to uh, have a huge investment to create e-commerce. You can start small if you want. So we will talk about platforms and options for products, service, or anything, or digital courses if you want to sell. Okay, I have a question. Laura, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, at the beginning of the presentation, you talk about the pre-launch campaign. Mm -hmm. And I would like to know how much can, time can you spend between the pre-launch campaign until you launch the real product in order to not lose all the people who's waiting for the final product? The pen of the product, um, that's, that's a strategy that you can do. Like sometimes the teasing, I call it teasing campaign, uh, you need to start between two weeks to three weeks in advance to get people prepared, to get there. Now, um, depending really sometimes what, what, you, what you're selling, kick started like physical products and crowdfunding, it can take six months to eight months waiting for something to get there. But this is something you need to be clear with the people that will is, need to stay there. Like, okay, this is a pre-launch. I give you a special offer for you if you buy now but you need to wait X time. Okay? okay, so maybe it makes more sense with physical products rather than services. I do for service too. Okay. I, I launch mentoring program in that way. I launch a mentoring and I do, um, if you sign now, it will be 50% off. Okay. Because I need, I need to test, I need to try, I need and this is all the way to testing to got your prototype out there. Okay, thank you. And it's as well a way to actually to test if this interest in your service and in your product. If you're out of the blue, you start to launch and then you say, okay, I have a deadline. And I'm going to make my deadline in one month. In this two first week, I will start to tease the market and to sell my, my testing version. And if after two weeks, you don't get uh, any feedback, any rapport, anything, then you need to change something there. This is a learning process. Then if after two weeks, maybe you have 50 spot or 50 product item or 50 service, you sell it all, great. Yeah, now you need to work out and make it that happen. Okay. Um, so we have a question, so I always will ask about, for example, could it be this an example? 
as I, my service would be the uh, nutritional therapy. Let's say I have the website and then want to test the website. And then in terms of the pre-launch, I then post in social media, yeah, in two weeks, I'm going to launch my service on the, or my, launch the website. You can visit the website now. And then when you book a package or service, you get 50% off. Would this be a pre-launch or, or not? The pre-launch, you need to keep people data, email, name, phone, something you'll be able, like, if they are interested, you can call them there. So okay. the idea is like you do a webinar, like a live event or a webinar, and then you tease if there's people interested in your idea, in your service, if uh, there is real connection or they, it's something they want to learn or something they want to know. So in that way, and then after webinar, you launch your offer. Okay, I have an offer I need you sign yeah. today. I give you 50% of the real price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. okay. Good, thank you. Any more? Well, uh, just another question or uh, one thing to talk about. I guess that when you launch your e-commerce, you also have to invest a lot of time in a good marketing strategy, right? Yeah, this is um, this is go now hand to hand with the e-commerce. More this strategy, you need to have. A, that's why it's, it's hard to have clear what you are selling, uh, what are the benefits, um, the pain points you're solving and your ideal client, because knowing your ideal client, you will know where they are, which platform they use, they use Facebook, they use Instagram, they use LinkedIn, uh, they go to more networking events, they go more to conference, well now, no, but mm -hmm. they, which forums they follow, you know, you need to be out there. Of course, becoming quite hard sometimes, and sometimes you need to just to pay for advertising, but, uh, these days you need to like offer value and offer something um, for free. Webinars, live, freebies. Uh, people can uh, give you experience already. They test your service, they test your product before they buy. 80% of the people landing in your website, they won't buy on the first time. Mm -hmm. They will see your website, they will see your product, and they will walk away. So you need to find ways to retain this customer. Saruka, he offered 10% for the subscribers of the email list. And they do beep access and they send you emails of the uh, paper therapy. So for even physical products, there are ways to retain your customers. This is something of them mm -hmm. the third uh, webinar, how to retain, how to make a successful website because you need to find ways to find the customers and to retain the customers and it's not any longer like okay you yeah you get um, you sell your physical product service but it's upselling and then retain and then improve and be in touch it's a journey it's the it's calling customer journey thank you yeah any more Okay, good. So now you need to do the work. Can I say that for being, I, I watched your website and it's, it's really good. It's, it's really, it's your, your picture. It is, it's, it is uh, very friendly and, all, and also very professional at the same time. Thank and you. For being, uh, I mean, you say, oh, I'm just, uh, I'm just um, a web designer. You know a lot about, <laughs> about, um, accessory in uh, companies you know a big lot you really are. yeah i think <laughs> <laughs> i think i think that's that's quite my my thing i call my i couldn't actually i don't call myself any longer web designer because i'm more than that and yeah, actually yeah. I, i'm i'm helping this uh, the past two years i'm helping women to to use technology and learn the self in digital world and and understand the digital world. And I have a client here in a restaurant in, in Bacalizas, where I live. He's a chef. 
um, sense of this awareness of digital presence. Um, I give it this mentoring and see um, update her LinkedIn. Um, thanks to the update of the LinkedIn, she got two trips to hire as a private chef in Dubai and Mexico. Just for a day, the LinkedIn. Just to be aware of your line present of what you are there, outside there, and then be. And since two years we've been working together, she's a, and we're talking about a person who is almost 60 years old with no aware of digital and no or nothing. And she has a blog, she's posting every day, she's using Instagram, she has thousands of followers, she's doing recipes, she's doing live videos, all that in two years of the awareness of the digital and becoming um, um, ob not overwhelmed of the digital. Before it was like, no, no, this, this is something there. It's sitting there in, the, in a far computer in the desk. Don't, don't touch it. And what happens if you have more than one client avatar? Okay, one more client avatar. I will um, something I, I make it. Um, I talk on the workbook, but I'll tell you quickly. Uh, focus is depend on your business. Which stage of your business you are right now? Starting or you already have few ideas and you're selling already? Okay. No, that I asking you. You you are starting oh. as a business or you are selling already? You you have no. I'm product. starting. So focus in one person. Okay, and in because, the meantime, will be more type. Exactly. Right? It's not close your mind of um, you focus in one person. You closing the doors. No, focus on your person. It will help you to have a clear message to the person you want to attract. Have a clear copy that is so important for online work and for the uh, website and for any e-commerce and have a clear someone to who you're talking to. Well, even if you do videos, even you do uh, webinars, even when I'm doing this webinar today, um, yesterday, and I have a big crush because my kids go back to school after six months. Yeah, and I had three. So imagine the, the party at home every day. And then on Tuesday, my computer died. It was like, yes, <laughs> but I focused and I was like, okay, to who is this webinar? To woman entrepreneur that I need, I want to help because this is my why. So I focus how to deliver this webinar to this, my ideal client, to this woman entrepreneur I want to help. Mm -hmm. So everything will come to place and uh, you will find the right copy, the right words, the right things you talk and you say to really touch these people's um, Mind. beliefs, minds, and make the experience uh, valuable for them to buy your product service. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one, one more question. One, sorry. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah I know it's already like eight o'clock in back in, uh, in Spain. Um, so one, one question. So, because let's say I'm not so digital person, I'm mm -hmm. trying in social media and stuff, but, and, and now I'm, now I'm um, like learning from webinars, but what, what would be then the, actually the best steps to do to really like, to understand this digital world? The best steps is find first what you feel comfortable doing. Okay. Don't put yourself in stress and don't put yourself things to do that you don't want to do, okay? Do baby steps. Okay, so first understand that um, why you need a presence, why you need an online presence, why you need a website, okay? Why will be beneficial for your business? And think about, because for me, sometimes what it helps me is I have uh, nowhere here because my husband out of blue took my wall, but I used to have here. Uh, it used to be, this is, used to be my desk. I have a wall tell me what is my purpose? What is my why? Because sometimes we forgot on the basis of the lives. We forgot our deep why. I, my deep why is helping women overcome the fear of technology um, to grow their business. But my deep, deep, deep why, and this is like seven question why, like you go to, it's like, 
kind of personal development you understand like, okay what is my why helping women to overcome the fear of technology why uh, okay why because blah blah why and you go to seven layers to the why 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 <laughs> until you find your why um other blue becoming my why because my mom had to give up her career because she was a mother and she became depressed and thanks to this depression become mania depressed and she is in pills since young because she gave up her career and her dreams. And I do believe, as I did to myself, there is a way to have a balance between motherhood and entrepreneur. And you don't have to give up your dreams because you are a mother. This is my deep why. And because I'm so good with technology and so good with teaching, inspiring, and, and it gets in action, that's what I want to give this hope to women. This is not a, a choice between one side or the other. You need to find, it's a way to find a balance and to find your own harmony that you can have it all because you can have it all if you want it. So do baby steps, don't overwhelm yourself and understand your DIY, why your service or your product, what is, what is helping people? And that is huge motivation for you to do one step at a time, one step at a time. Okay, why social media is good for my business and service? Because I help him, blah, blah, blah. Because that it will reach the people I need to help because that will go to sell my service and that is why to put out there. So you do baby steps and you don't have to do posting every day or do um, maybe social media. I do a lot of networking. I do a lot of different ways to find my niche. I do posting on social media, but I don't do daily. And I'm good on the strategy, I'm good on social media marketing things, but I'm not doing because I have other things I find them more um, pro productivity or more outcome than doing social media. You know, being the forums, helping in different ways, out, be out there in different ways. So you understand it, you're deep, understand it, how you can help and what is your ideal plan as well. It will understand you where you need to go to be there and your motivation behind. Thank you. That's helpful. Thank you. Good. Okay, so. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed it. Thanks. Thank you, Daniela. Okay, so um, Valentina, where, where we put the workbook in the... Well, first of all, we would like to invite you to join the new group we just created on the platform. It's called e-commerce foundations. I don't remember exactly the name, but if you go on the left menu in the platform, you will see it there. There's a group folder and you will find there the group and this group is created to share our questions, our doubts, and Laura will lead us a little bit in this process and we will share as well the workbook of today's event. Yeah. And but don't, um, don't worry because tomorrow I will send you a reminder with the link. Yeah, I will share the screen quickly to show you what is. So here in the homepage of uh, Planet Benutes, if you go to on the left menu, groups, you will find it. Yeah, e-commerce experience. And there, um, I will make a post right now with the workbook. So you can download and it's the full roadmap uh, description in the steps um, and few exercises for you to understand your work to find product, what to find profitable uh, physical product, uh, service, how to find what can work, idea client avatar exercise, and description product exercise too. Okay, so that's it. So then until next week. See you next Thursday. Thank you. Yeah. Deborah, you yeah. are mute. <laughs> I was talking. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then I see you each other all 
in the group of the platform and we see you live again next week for the second part of the e-commerce event. Great. Thank you, okay. Laura. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. See you then. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.